In this video, I will be explaining Backrooms Level 388, also known as the Harvest Project. This one is genuinely sad. Like, not just internet horror sad. No, it's like actually pretty sad, man. There's a shady cult that lives here that harvests those entities, and there's black market backroom stuff happening under the scenes. There's strange buildings, there's strange forests, it's all very unique, I know. The level's also closed off to the public. It's, it's banned to enter, which is interesting. So if that sounds cool to you, stick around for the explanation. I think you're gonna enjoy it. And without further yapping on from me, let's get into it, shall we? Level 388 of the Backrooms is the 389th level in the lore. It is classified as a class restricted for having protected information, secret operations, and of course, no unauthorized entrances. And there's only a very, very few amount of levels in the lore that are off limits to people. Like, even level run for your life is not off limits. So it's weird that this one is. You'll see why later, but I think this sets the level apart. Level 388 is known within the BNTG group as their most secret and highly protected level. It takes the appearance of an extremely dark forest that is thought to be infinite. The forest is known to have a red coloration throughout its vegetation. There's no green or anything, everything has this red hue, sort of like the Crimson Forest used to. The only plants that grow here seem to be Japanese maples and scarlet maple trees. And the reason these trees can grow together is because of the very strange contents in the soil. The soil in the forest is very enigmatic in nature, and it seems to have very, very high contents of red potassium dichromate, as well as red aluminum chloride, giving everything that grows in that soil a maroon, dark red hue. Level 388 actually does have a really unique day and night cycle. So the cycle changes the environment drastically because during the daytime, the sky is this beige yellow color and it's really hot. It's 35 degrees Celsius, which is like upper 90s Fahrenheit, and that's during the daytime. But when it gets darker at nighttime, it shifts to a really dark red color sky and the temperature can drop down to negative 15 degrees Celsius or like five degrees Fahrenheit. So that temperature change is very crazy and it should be bad for the plant life here, but it doesn't seem to affect them at all. It seems they're very resilient. So off the bat, I'm sure you're wondering, what is so crazy about a level that is a wilderness expanse? What's, what's crazy about that? There's plenty of other levels just like it. But the reason for all the security and the secrecy and why this level is famous is because of a certain species of entity that lives in the woods. It has been dubbed as Species 388. Species 388, or the Crimson Wanderers, as they're known amongst the backrooms and everybody in it, is a very intelligent species of humanoid. The species is sentient, and it's the only known entity to inhabit the forests here. Their appearance, their behaviors, their anatomy, they're all very similar to humans, except for the fact that they don't really have any features. They're just bright, reddish, glowing humanoids. They're also a bit taller than normal people, and they're average around seven foot tall. These red glowing humanoids do not have ears, as they also seem to be completely deaf, but they do have an extreme and abnormal sense of physical prowess. They're very, very strong. They live in very small villages with each other, and their population as a species has been steadily plateauing inside the level, with small growth spurts here and there. The way they live is in this sort of hunter-gatherer type of society, and they tend to only eat the red leaves that grow off the maple trees here. It seems as if they're able to feel complex human emotion, like ambition and empathy and that kind of thing, and they're also capable of inventions, like making spears and making houses and that sort of deal. But all that aside, the main interest that people in the backrooms have with this creature is their blood. So a specimen that was deceased was brought into a BNTG base in a skyscraper here on this level. And they noticed that the blood was thick and darker red than even the entity's glowing body. It was even darker than human blood too. It also smelled awful, like putrid rust and rot. Because of this, a few tests were run on this blood, and since then, it has been named the Carmine Concoction. 
and it has been a very, very lucrative thing for the BNTG's medical department to sell to people in the back rooms. Because applying this blood liquid to any cut or any gash or deep wound will cause the wound to scab over and close at an alarmingly fast rate. It, it can heal you really quickly. It will also decrease any inflammation and infections caused by the wound you had. So this is obviously a very, very highly sought after substance since the backrooms is so dangerous and people do get injured all the time. You can harvest this blood from these entities and sell it as a sort of underground operation for people to use when they're sick or injured or whatever. Because of this finding, the BNTG has locked the level down and guards all entrances to the level so they can harvest it and sell it to other buyers inside the backrooms. Now the concoction admittedly, is one of the best things that you could possibly use to heal yourself in the back rooms. It's even better than almond water, probably better than super almond water was, and it's just the best thing. But the method of harvesting this blood is carried out in this strange outpost here, known as the Project Harvest Biotech Center. This is a strange building located in one singular skyscraper in the middle of the woods. The skyscraper consists of labs and meeting rooms and offices with the doctors there. These rooms are all very sterile, very clean, and it looks like just this liminal lab area. Now, I'm sure you're wondering, how do they harvest this concoction from species 388, you ask? I'm sure it's a totally ethical thing, and the species definitely donates it to them for a small payment or something. It's definitely consensual, right? No, it's not. The BNTG has been slaughtering instances of species 388 in order to keep up with the high demand of the concoction that's inside of them. They've been carrying these operations in complete secret too, to avoid putting a blemish on their company and group. Because of this, measures have been put in place recently to stop all harvesting of the concoction blood and to liberate any captured species 388 specimens that they might have locked up. Spies of other groups like Meg are located in highly trafficked levels to try to find people who operate this harvest, looking to pick them off one by one, of course. It's the general belief outside of the BNTG that Species 388 deserves to live in peace without fear of their blood being harvested and their young being taken off to a lab. And if you want to jump in and stop the harvesting too, you can enter the level by finding a dark red tree on level 39 and no clipping through it. That was a great segue, wasn't it? Now this entrance is guarded by the BNTG, but you probably could sneak in if you distracted them or something like that, I'm assuming. To exit, you can walk very, very deeply into this forest and you'll eventually find yourself fading into level 309. However, this exit is very rare, so take it at your own risk. But this level is an example of the back rooms being monopolized and profited off in its own universe. The BNTG is really just very shady and they're harvesting this blood from these innocent species of, you know, 388 without their consent and without their wish. They don't get paid for it. They just get picked off by their hunters in the woods. Hopefully all instances of species 388 uh, from here on out will be safe. We can, we can only hope so. So to summarize, if you didn't hear any of what I said, level 388 is a dark enigmatic red forest with red flora, fauna, trees, and, and ground. The temperature shifts from being burning hot to freezing cold each night, and inside the forest lives a benevolent species of glowing entities known as Species 388. They're tall, they're red, they have this glowing aura around them, and they live in a hunter-gatherer society. The BNTG has monopolized this level to harvest Species 388's blood because it can heal quicker, and they made a lot of money by upscaling and upselling the price. Essentially, this level is like the Lorax, but instead of the trees being taken down, it's all the inhabitants of the level being taken down. Leave a like on this video to save Species 388, by the way. Let's see how high we can get. That's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for checking out the channel. If you want more videos like this, I upload three to four times a week, and I upload a video on Spoogly, my third channel, once a week. So there's plenty of content for me to go around. Got some big announcements coming soon. I hope you're ready for it. Make sure you check out below in the description for my Twitter, my Instagram, and all that stuff. And I just genuinely cannot thank you enough for the growth. The Brugley channel, the Spoogly channel, they're both taking off. They're both blowing up. And I, I really hope that you will continue to stick around, having a great time right now. And I hope you all are too. Tell somebody love them because life's too short not to. And without further ado, I'm going to stop yabbing and end the video off. Peace.